friends! My name is Heather, welcome to my channel. So today's video we're going to be going over five gold leafing techniques. You can have so much fun and get so creative with it. So I really wanted to have a video to narrow things down for you and give you some um, creativity and inspiration to go off of. Also, what happens when we make a mistake? Is it possible to remove our gold leaf without ruining our project? Or are we gonna have to like sand it off and start all over? I will be answering that for you. Stick around, we're gonna have so much fun, learn a few things along the way. Let's get going. A really fun way to add interest and pop to your piece is putting some gold leafing on the sides of your drawers. It's really fun to incorporate any kind of pattern with gold leafing on the sides of drawers. So this one in particular, I'm making stripes and then I'll be filling in the stripes with some gold leaf. A great tip for that perfect line is to Lay some Mod Podge along that tape and let it dry before you do any kind of painting or let's say gold leafing. And you can also use the Mod Podge for an adhesive for the gold leaf. So I'll be laying that on for our adhesive today and it will also ensure that perfect line. So that is a win-win. Gold leaf will stick to any kind of moisture. So before I start any project, I make sure to powder my hands because it creates that perfect barrier, which allows you to touch and work with that gold leafing with ease. So after your adhesive gets tacky to the touch, then you're able to go ahead and start applying your gold leaf. So I like to go ahead and do it sheet by sheet. Sometimes I will tear the gold leaf in half to make it a little bit more conformed to the shape. But other than that, um, because we have powdered our hands and are able to touch and play with the gold leaf, we're able to just pick up pieces along the way and fill in all those blanks and make our um, pretty little strips. Okay, so here's a fun little tidbit. Whatever gold leaf is just kind of hanging there and has not been tampered by the adhesive, you can go ahead and tap that off and set it aside and save it for another project um, because it actually becomes gold leafing flakes, which are sold online or in stores. And so, you know, you can have many purposes for gold leafing flakes as well. So it's a fun way to recycle and repurpose your gold leaf. So now I'm just continuing to tap it back until there's no more floofy bits sticking out, making sure it's nice and smooth, and then we can just peel back our tape. And here's the final look. Nice little pop of gold when you open up that drawer. So pretty. One thing that's really fun and easy to do with gold leafing is to go around the frames of the drawers and line it with gold leaf. So you can do this either if the drawers have a framing like this or if they sit in a little bit you can actually frame the, the piece. So either way the look is framing the drawers. I'll be taking the speedball adhesive and using a small artist brush going along the frames of the drawers here. So just give it a few passes and then we want to wait 30 minutes for it to get tacky. I'll be using the Bonibus a gold leaf for this project. So I like having it open and ready to go. It just makes it so much more easier when you're working with it. So we will be taking off the little squares at a time, you know, just one sheet at a time and uh, laying it down along the frame and just kind of going in repetition. So it just, it just peels off really easily. And when you lay it down, it just kind of goes strip, 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 and then you're done. And this speedball adhesive really stays tacky until you put something on top of it. So you have plenty of working time, so don't worry about it drying out. And you know, you, you have plenty of working time to be able to pick up your gold leaf and move it into the corners and the empty spaces that you'd like it to be and you know create that look that you're going for. I like to wait a good 10 to 15 minutes before I start knocking all the floofy bits back um, but just make sure to do it with a gentle brush and don't go too aggressive because it will scratch the gold leaf. Just take your time and wipe it back until it's nice and smooth. Okay friends, 
So every once in a while when you're applying gold leaf, you know, a mistake might happen. You might get it somewhere, you, you know, you're not intending to get it or it might not look exactly how you'd like. When you are applying gold leaf, it's with an adhesive. So what you want to do is use something to dissolve that adhesive. So right here is where the adhesive kind of stuck on the side and then the gold leaf, of course, naturally it would stick next to the side. One of the ways that you can remove it is with acetone. It's pretty common. You probably have it under your sink or you can get it at a drugstore. So I take a tiny bit out with a Q-tip or you can use a cotton round and you go a little bit at a time to see how much it's taking off the gold leaf and you can increase it from there. Another option is with mineral spirits. It's the same way um, you would use it with a Q-tip or you can use cotton rounds and apply it to your gold leaf a very lightly, light product amount and see how it dissolves the gold leaf and go from there. One creative way to apply gold leafing is using a stencil. So you can take any kind of stencil that you have and use it with the adhesive and apply it anywhere that you would like on your piece. So I think I'm gonna go with this one today. What I like to do is leave a little bit of space at the bottom to kind of blend it in, but you can definitely just use the stencil for how it is. I'm using the speedball adhesive for this one. And like I said, with the last project, it is a little runny. So just be careful about that, that it doesn't seep down behind the stencil. If it does, you can just wipe it off when you take off the stencil and it'll be just fine. Because we'll be working with the gold leaf a lot, picking it up and placing it down in different areas, I'm gonna create that barrier again with the powder and have my gold leaf all set to go so it's just really easy to apply. So I'm just placing my gold leafing squares where that stencil was, where all that adhesive is, and then I'll let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before I knock it back. So here's just the comparison of the two. So one is a more distressed look and the other is a more pieced together look. So if that's something that you're interested in creating with the stencil, um, that's how it's gonna look. Let's go ahead and move on to another technique. A way that you can use gold leafing for some detailing is on the hardware. So I have two different kinds of hardware here and one I'm going to show you how to apply some gold leaf flakes and then the other one, we're going to apply a full sheet to cover up the hardware. So this one in particular is already spray painted in gold, um, but I wanted to add some of the flakes to give it a, more of a shiny look, which only that gold leafing can achieve. And then this one, I wanted to create an entire look of gold leaf on the hardware so that it matches the look that I'm going for on that piece over there. So um, it's really easy to do, let me show you. As with any gold leafing project, we need our adhesive. So once again, I'll be using the speedball. I just find it easier for the hardware process because you have more working time with it. So for the ones that I'll be laying down the entire sheet on, I'll be laying the adhesive all over. And then the ones that are gold that I'll just be doing the gold flakes on, I'll just be applying the adhesive uh, sporadically in little areas where I can individually lay those flakes. And then we'll set it aside and wait for 30 minutes. We'll start with the flakes first. You can definitely use tweezers for this, um, but once again, I powdered the hands, so I'm just going to pick them up and uh, place them where I'd like that um, where I'd like them to be, where the adhesive is, and then set it aside. I'm just gonna let them sit for the amount of time where I'm doing the other hardware, and then I'll come back and we'll tap that off. So for these ones, since we're working with two different shapes at the same time, I'll utilize the sheet as I go. So as I remove the sheet, I'm separating it in half, and then I'll blanket the handle and wait for it to stick to the adhesive. And then very gently, I'll tear off certain pieces and then go over to those uh, side pieces over there and start covering them up with the gold leaf. 
And once everything is fully covered on one side with those handles, all I do is flip it to the other side and repeat the process. And then you just keep turning the handle and pressing the gold leaf on the adhesive. And we'll go ahead and knock back all the extra bits off these little guys here. It's not going to be too much of a dramatic look because it's gold on gold, but this will definitely look great with another color underneath, you know, that complements gold. Um, but it is such a cool look to have that crackled gold effect. And um, here is the final look. So this is a very common technique, which I have two videos on my channel for. In the video for this tutorial, I cover a very common question on what to actually use for gold leaf when you are applying it, where I go over two products. I apply half of this technique in one product and the other half in the other, and it's in this video right up here. So in this one, I cover two other common products um, between the Mod Podge and Speedball. We cover pricing and application, and it's in this video here. So go ahead and click on one of those and I'll see you there. Bye friends.